I actually grew up uh, in the New York City area, in a town about 30 miles uh, from New York City called Freeport. Long Island and the New York City area was an exciting place uh, to grow up. There was a lot going on. Uh, I had the advantage of being in the suburbs so that you had uh, the suburban life uh, if you wanted it, but uh, New York City was just 30 miles away, so we would frequently go into the city for day trips. I was always interested in science, and I think that uh, probably uh, was to a certain extent, maybe a large extent, due to uh, my father. Uh, he was uh, an electrician. When I was young, I would frequently accompany him uh, on the jobs, and I became interested in electricity, and uh, that developed further. I was a, an amateur radio operator, so-called ham operator, when I was in, in high school, and I was in the radio club. I did have an opportunity to move to Texas uh, in the uh, 1960s. I was working for a company called Grumman Aircraft, uh, and they were a subcontractor to NASA. And they were building the lunar module. They uh, planned to move the unit that I was in uh, to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the time, being a New Yorker, I had no interest whatsoever in uh, moving to Texas, and so I quit the company and uh, I went to graduate school to pursue a degree in, in science. The laboratory that I wound up working in uh, was headed by an individual, Eric Kandel, who subsequently went on to win the Nobel Prize in physiology or medicine. I particularly liked the academic environment because of the freedom that you have to pursue uh, your own goals. Part of being a scientist is to continually learn and discover, and uh, you have the freedom to do that, and that's something that I like to do. I have uh, a wife and two children. Well, I have a sailboat, and we race uh, down in Galveston Bay. I also uh, will go on uh, cruises with the family. Just recently, we did a 10-day trip. Uh, we chartered a sailboat in the British Virgin Islands, and we had a great time doing that. Uh, I train graduate students and I train postdoctoral fellows. They then leave my laboratory and go on and establish their own laboratories at other universities or uh, in industry. Uh, and they develop their careers, but they also then contribute uh, to science. So it's very gratifying and rewarding when they do so. It's been said that the neurosciences are one of the last frontiers of the biological sciences. So when we know everything there is to know about the heart and how the heart works and the lungs and kidneys and how they work, we're still probably just going to be scratching the surface in terms of understanding uh, the brain. It's clearly the most complex organ uh, in the universe.